Most of us, human beings, usually have two sides within us. A bright side, a dark side, a creative side, a conservative side, an impulsive and a controlling side, an extrovert and an introvert part. One part that may provide alternative thought, playing devil's advocate, being self-conscious, censoring, whatever we call it. Is it part of our evolution? Is it even useful? A peaceful part driven by curiosity, focused on creating, finding ideas, possibilities, contributing to the greater good. Another part driven by self-preservation, aggression, focused on dominating over others, conquering everything, destroying opposition, seeking revenge. Have you wondered just how these traits can coexist within the same person? Usually their expression is demonstrated in our behavior intermittently, with a different gravity in each one of us. In some people, aggressive traits may take over, while in others, the giving, contributing traits are mostly expressed. So how can we know when we meet a person for the first time, which their signature traits are that determine their behavior? Could physiognomy help us? Here are just a few hints on how to distinguish a peacemaker from a warmonger, instantly. Our face gives away cues that reveal tendencies like dominance, aggression, love of conflict. But which facial features can reveal emotional intensity? The development of the nasal bone, for one. The height and the shape of the bridge of the nose definitely determine our personality and expression. The mouth is another feature that can reveal our emotional balance or not. The tonality of our features, whether they have an upward or downward slope in relaxed position, is key. So, shall we put some of this info together to get a more concise idea with some examples? A dominant jaw, wide and deep, will indicate great energy reserves, high testosterone, perseverance, possessiveness. Combined with a predominant nose, a Roman nose of substantial width, with high convexity in the bridge, this will indicate a person with a need to dominate over others. High ego, ability to lead, an imperial mindset will not mind bending the rules or oppressing others, actually may get the kick out of this as conflict raises adrenaline. High protruding and chiseled cheekbones will contribute to a sense of superiority over others, use or abuse of personal powers in order to obtain one's goals. Dense, bushy eyebrows will also have an impact in the importance of one's ego, with an urge to be acclaimed. And what are some distinguishing features of a more peaceful personality? One focused on creating, contributing, and how do they differ from the personality traits described above? In order to accomplish anything in life, adequate energy levels are indeed a prerequisite. So, a developed jaw can also be found in people of great contribution and beneficial actions. Where there may be a difference will be in the development of the nose, being straighter or with the convexity lower in the bridge, indicating more even disposition and a tendency to defend rather to offend. The mouth and the lips can also reveal how giving one is with a balance in the fullness of the upper and lower lips. The cheekbones can be more rounded, a bit fleshier rather than chiseled or bony. Features that indicate tonality and tension are quite telling as well. Upward slanting eyebrows, triangular or dilated nostrils can indicate a personality that thrives on anything that can spike adrenaline, thus being more trigger-happy and conflict-ready than a person with more horizontal or downward sloping features, which will show, in their part, energy that is quite modified in these areas. So last and not least, the head and the forehead as an index of our thought patterns can reveal certain things as well high and rounded in the crown, showing self-esteem, idealism, optimism, in contrast to a flat head with a low forehead focused on materializing desires rather than analyzing them. So, what about yourself? Which part is predominant within you and when? Please leave your comments and suggestions. I will happily answer any questions you have. And for any of you wondering about the background painting, it actually depicts the two sides of the same personality. It was created by my father Fotis during his symbolism era and inspired me to make this very video.
connecting the visual cues of the face with a person's inner tendencies. Thank you for watching.